I was shocked at the difference. This was so exciting. This might save my foot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie and I'm facing elective amputation. And if you're wondering what that is, I found him and I'm waiting for somebody to pick him up. My story is that 10 years ago, my story is that 10 years ago I had a motorcycle accident and several surgeries later I still can't walk without pain. So that's why I'm facing elective amputation and I will post that here and in the description below. I have been dealing with plantar fasciitis for the past several weeks, probably six or eight weeks. Today, I found something exciting. I decided to research why it was happening and see what I could do about it. Normally, what I do is I just roll my foot on a ball or um, a frozen water bottle or something like that and treat where the pain is. But today, I did something different. Today, I wanted to dig a little bit deeper and find out why it is happening. And that is what is so exciting. So the plantar fasciitis is in my right leg, my good leg, and my left leg is the one that I'm probably going to amputate, unless I can save it. I don't wanna be that person that cuts their leg off and somebody says, oh, why didn't you just blah, 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 you know, and you could have saved it. So now I spend all of my time researching what I can do to save my leg. So this is exciting. This guy, I'm going to post his video also in the description of my video. He said that your ankle movement is directly related to your calf being seized up or the fascia being too tight. And in order to loosen it up, you roll it out. So that's what I did. This morning, what I did was I, I have to balance on my bad leg. Um, okay. What I did was I, I'm on my tippy toes right now because my foot doesn't go down. I rolled it like this on each side, like that, and just kept rolling it and rolling it and rolling it. And eventually, it stopped hurting. When I started, it hurt like a mother. I did not want to continue. It took me several times this morning to actually get somewhere with it. And even now, I still have a knot in my calf, um, but I am walking almost without pain on my right foot. I'm telling you what, a light bulb, bing, goes off in my head. What if I can save my foot? What if I can apply the same information to my left leg? So that's what I'm gonna try today. I did not do anything to my left leg yet. I wanted to sh uh, share it with you guys in this video, but I'm a little nervous about it because we all know it's already in pain, right? And we don't really wanna rub anything on it, but amputation probably hurts too so might as well give it a whack right all right on the back of my leg I'm going to show you I have a ball of muscles if you can see I have a ball of muscle and ligaments and I don't know if you can see that but it's right here and it is just this mass and it has been tried to be rubbed out several times by two masseuses um, several years of going through this um, but we never got anywhere because I wasn't doing my part at home because it hurts but now that I'm facing amputation suddenly I'm very motivated all right here we go so I have the top of my shin bone that doesn't really hurt it doesn't this this has like little spiky balls on it so I mean it has a little bit of discomfort from just rolling it on my skin but not at all like it did on my other leg this morning this morning that leg hurt like a mother okay so the back of my calf I feel like it could be loosened up a little bit it's not anything like the other one but then again I probably don't use a lot of my calf muscles Okay, the back where that ball is, <laughs> that hurts so bad. It feels like I'm rolling out a bone. Oh my gosh, that hurt 
hurts so bad. I don't even want to continue. But I guess it probably hurts less than amputation, right? So I'm going to continue to work on that. So I'm going to con <laughs> So I'm going to continue to work on that and see if I can get anywhere with it. Because what if what if I can get it to loosen up and then my foot actually moves? Because on paper, on my x-rays, there's no reason my foot shouldn't move. He scraped out all the arthritis and the bone spurs. It should move up and down, but it doesn't. If you want to follow along on my journey, I invite you. Hit the subscribe button and we'll do this together. I'll see you guys on the next video.